today is carpentry meeting and I'm not wearing red because it's national day because national day over more like I needed to cheer myself up it's quite a torture for me to wake up so early because I usually have insomnia make worse when people text me at night about work even if I don't read the text so when the text come in right my mind will switch to work mode already when I see the text so it's very annoying yeah so yeah so what are you? <coughs> Okay, so I've been out of side action for a long, long time. <coughs> side action meaning uh, action on side. Yeah. <laughs> that means on my renal side. <coughs> because I'm still trying to recover from my stupid acute lung infection that has been plaguing me for many, many weeks. So now it's still uh, coming back every now and then in the form of cough, um, like sudden violent cough that will cause my rib cage to hurt. So I had them cut down. Okay, but um, today no choice. I really have to go to site because I need to uh, leave some stuff for my clients, shortlisted short stuff for my clients to consider as well as take some measurements um, so I, I will be going for a short while but at the same time um, just now very funny I I received a, a voice message from my client <laughs> she said hey just now you were in front of my van you know why you drive so fast like so scary I don't know whether she said scary la, but she said why you drive so, so fast yeah, I told her lah, you know, I, I drove very fast because I have a lot of things to settle and it's like all these things that are happening in my life are not helping me settle stuff so I need to do everything very fast I include driving very fast then she, she replied, hey take a deep breath I said I took many breaths already so many breaths until hyperventilate yeah so uh, not the best position but Need, uh, all these things need to be done so I will bring you up to take a look okay. okay today I'm not supposed to be on site because uh, I am supposed to abstain from dusty places but I have to bring stuff and put here for my client to consider so I'm here champion take a look at the work done so I'm going to show you around a fast one so that I can get out of here fast 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 okay I'll show you okay so essentially uh, electrical prep for our feature wall this house the feature wall is Kwa Zhang one okay Kwa Zhang not okay lah Kwa Zhang not in extent but Kwa Zhang in terms of the concept so you will see when I show you uh, the, the final thing uh, but whatever it is we are supposed to assume here <laughs> is the canal Venice water canal <laughs> very hard to imagine because now it's just tiles, tiles and more tiles but um, so, so just imagine uh, okay there's water canal here <laughs> then Above the water canal, there is a walkway, walkway, and there are like brick walls and stuff lah. So now you just need to major use your imagination, okay? Because no brick wall, no nothing. Uh, eventually, we will also have a light lamp post. So kacang one, right? So yeah, you have to see to know. So here, where we took out the walls, walls between the this bedroom and the next one what we are going to do is this will be a chill room chill room uh, that is connected to the water canal <laughs> okay so chill room uh, but this chill room we are going to take up quite a bit of space 
um, for study. So this will be the study, right? The adjoining one. So uh, we are going to have one set of carpentry wall. Okay, that means our display cabinet. And it will go up, right? But it will divide the room this way so that it takes up this space eating into this chill area. Right, so this chill area will be smaller. Rightfully so because we need more space for the study where we will have two side-by-side -side work desks. Um, and because this one is a display cabinet, right? This will be the door to go in. Okay, imagine we, we are coming in already. Yeah. Then we turn around. The same display cabinet here. The other side of it will be for us to put shelves and it put shelves, put books and files. So this one will be uh, the major part of it, lah, where my clients will store his things or their things. Okay. Then here will be our display stuff. Display stuff. Okay. So um. Something to note about this, this display cabinet is we are going to turn this area into a like a mini courtyard. Okay, so we are going to have if nothing goes wrong, touch wood. Let me find some wood to touch. Oh yeah, no wood. Touch vinyl floor can? I've touched vinyl floor. Okay. So if nothing goes wrong. There will be a water fountain here. Those internal circulation one. Ah. That means we don't require water to come in, to fresh water to circulate. No need. Ma. So we're just going to have one uh, fixed uh, amount of water and then it's going to self-circulate. So there will be a water fountain here followed by niches to look like a courtyard. Okay? So that this whole thing will make sense. Ma. And then there will be Artificial plants draping from the courtyard lah. A bit hard to imagine but no choice you have to imagine now. And this will be our dining area. So dining area is also a matter of dressing up. So we are going to have a barn door here to keep the grease out lah. Okay. So there's one big wall which my clients are debating whether to keep everything one solid colour or to paint half wall. My preference is half wall, lah, definitely. And then inside, right, the kitchen, the tiles are done. This is the tiles between top cabinet and bottom cabinet. Okay. Uh, this is the nice striped tile I was telling you all about. I love it. And opposite, we will have the hood and the whole cabinet, followed by wall shelf, wall shelf. So I think um, maybe it's a good idea to keep it simple by having one just one set of wall shelves. Ah. Don't have so many because the more details you put in, the more clutter will be. And then there will be like I say, uh, black frame glass doors and windows. And this is a legit yard. So this time around, uh, I'm not going to take out all this because uh, my clients still need their yard. Okay. So will be a uh, washing machine and then dishwasher and then we will have a latch to increase the counter space. Oh, before I forget, this wall we are also going to have um, some feature lah, okay? Uh, that it's easily installed, but then it adds a backdrop for our pots and pans display. So my clients will prefer pots and pans, pots and pans, followed by a spice rack, which she can open, put spice in, close it. Lah. So uh, it's a matter of turning and making this chill. Given that it's pots and pans, you know how sexy can pots and pans be, right? Ah, yeah. So here, we are going to build up. You see the uh, discrepancy in the wall thickness. So we are going to build storage cabinet here. 
and then a hidden door that we can open into the bomb shelter. So don't waste the space. Time. Anyway, this is the awkward, awkward uh, protrusion anyway. Okay. Yeah, I say fast one, huh? end up not very fast. Eh? Okay, so the um, uh, common bathroom is done up. I love this towel. And I love the wall. So this is my first time using square towels. Believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> because no occasion. Ma. So this is the perfect chance to do it. La. So we will have our vanity here. Vanity counter and a basin, then mirror and then pendant lamp. Okay, then this will be our master bedroom and the the whole house are done up already. Okay, this part is grey because uh, my clients prefer to keep it easy to maintain. So grey all the way except for here lah, where we won't get enough pressures. So far so good. And this towel, this decorative towel right, will find its way back into our little fake courtyard here. Okay, as to how, you will have to wait to see. So Aga is about like that. Seems simple, but actually it's a lot of work, especially this wall and this storage cabinet. Okay. <laughs> Before I, I lose my voice yelling. Yeah, so Aga is like that. Okay, I can't wait to show you more. Sounds simple, huh? Actually not simple long because there are a lot of details to go in. So, uh, yeah, so I can't wait for carpentry to be done up. Um, that is the zhong dian. Without the carpentry, right, this whole house will be very uh, bare because the details are all in the carpentry. Hence, we had a very long carpentry discussion. So, 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 uh, I hope to update y'all soon when carpentry is done or when carpentry is in the midst of uh, being installed. But meanwhile, I'm going to take off and leave this place. Bye. Okay, so I left the site, but with this. So we're walking around with this thing and people are wondering like, what the hell am I doing with this thing? So uh, construction people, renovation people will know what this is. Lah, okay. Essentially, this is people put on the wall to protect the edges of the wall, nah, right? But today, my this one has a more important purpose. I'm using this to be my ruler because I forgot to bring my measuring tape to the side. So now I'm back at the car. I need to use this to measure what I measured just now. The marking I made, see? So now, it's the very primitive way of doing measurement. But how come you lie, you know? Me and my cheese brain. Okay, I'm already. Okay, so now I measure. It's about 5 4. 5 4 0 mm, so 54 cm. <laughs>